Hello guys and welcome to this new video tutorial. In this video I will show you how you could clean your computer or your hard disk from the unnecessary files. So if you're if you're running out of storage, you can always click on your recycle bin to empty it. But once you click on your PC, you want to go to this PC or system, you click with the left button of the mouse and you select properties. Once you select properties, you want to click on this cleanup and next we will click on clean up system files this way the computer will be calculating and showing all temporary files and unnecessary files and we will have to check what we want and what we should remove the operation might take few seconds or even up to few minutes based on how much data you have on your computer we want to scroll down and select thumbnails temporary files recycle bin language resources files device driver packages, delivery optimization files, DirectX shredder cache, Windows error reports and feedback, temporary internet files, download program files, Microsoft Defender antivirus files, and also Windows update cleanup. Once done, you can click OK and the Windows will start cleaning your computer. There is also an additional method. You can always go to the search tab and type settings. And here we will click on system and then we'll go to storage here windows will be calculating and it will show you all the data how it's being divided in your computer for example on my desktop there are files up to 20 giga and in my applications and features i have files and programs which are 21 giga and then the temporary files they have 21 giga you by clicking on one of them you can see and then computer will be again scanning and showing you all what it could be disinstalled temporary internet files temporary files delivery optimization etc so for now we can always select what we want and what we don't want so as I showed you there are two methods it goes back to the same so we'll just stay in settings and make sure Windows update cleanup Microsoft Defender antivirus temporary files thumbnails delivery optimization files they are also temporary you want to avoid deleting the downloads until you verify what you have downloaded. Temporary files, temporary internet files, and Windows error reports and feedback diagnostics. We'll click remove files. Windows will take few seconds or even up to few minutes until it has deleted all what we have selected. Once done, you want to restart your computer and perform a refresh. If after all of this you still have almost full hard disk even though your hard disk have a big capacity and you have not been downloading or installing things then you want to verify if you have recently upgraded from Windows 7 or Windows 8 to Windows 10 because then you might have the Windows old file which takes a lot of data so to verify after all of this if you still have um, if you still don't have enough space back and you believe that there is a, a mistake from on Windows then click on this PC go to your system and search if you have any file called Windows Old. This Windows Old is related to previous upgrade from Windows 7 or Windows 8. And if you are not planning to downgrade, then it's better to delete it. And this will save you back more space. For me personally, I have managed to get back 148 gig out of 220, which is quite good. If you are still in need of help or assistance, you can always write us a comment or send us an email and we will do our best to help you. If you would like to encourage us, you can always press like, share and also subscribe to get our latest videos. Thank you for watching and talk to you soon in a new video tutorial.